Oh, it's been quite a while since I've done a video. Uh, pardon the messy desk, I have no time to clean it up. But I figured I'd do a video for the first time in a long time of a brand new server. Uh, this is the first time I've ever actually worked with brand new equipment. Normally I'm always working with stuff off eBay or bought secondhand. Um, but I actually won this at a giveaway at a conference I went to for Kimbercon, which is the state's internet service provider that my company gets its bandwidth from. And I put my card in and I actually won this thing, so this won't actually be staying with me. I am going to give it back to my work and we're going to use it there. But I'm going to do a quick unboxing and overview of this at the moment. There it is. It's a uh, super micro, uh, typical little half depth one U server. It's from Kingstar Computing, which must be a company that makes custom builds these or something. Uh, as you can see, it's already configured with a operating system. Um, this was part of the giveaway was that this would be a perf sonar node, which is actually a network monitoring tool that allows you to. Um, do all sorts of bandwidth testing and reporting out to like remote nodes. So we'll be using this a lot in our network to monitor all our various nodes. Uh, but the server itself, you can see, just typical Supermicro 1U. Taking a look at the back there. Standard, pretty standard I.O. Looks like it's got three Ethernet ports. Uh, probably comes in handy for network testing. I'll get more into the specs of this in a minute. And. Right below here, we just have another little box. I think that's just the power cables. Yeah, that's just uh, some rack screws and a power cable. So that's all that we got in there. Let's go ahead and get it plugged in, powered on, and play with it a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get it opened up. like single CPU, I'm sorry, uh, single CPU, single stick of RAM, and it's a Shiba hard drive. So, does it give size on here? No size on the hard drive, I'll have to get back on that. But looks like your typical super micro board. Uh, the model number on here is X10SLL-F. As you can see right there. Uh, again, this is brand new board, uh, but it looks like your standard super micro layout. No redundancy with the hard drives or anything, but that can always be added later. So I'm going to go ahead and get it booted up and look at some of the system specs from command line. So taking a look at the software on the device that came installed, it's running CentOS 7. Uh, that was installed by the people who ran the, the giveaway and they also pre-installed this software, which you're seeing on the back screen here, Perf Sonar. Uh, I'm not going to go too into depth into this yet until I have this deployed on uh, my company's network. Um, once I have some active data, I'll show more on this software here. It's pretty powerful. Uh, but the box itself, we can see we got um, uh, Xeon E1276 in this thing. So one of the newer ones, just looking at HTOP real quick, you can see it's 8 cores. We got 8 gigs of RAM. Um, it's one of the newer CPUs, so it seems very snappy. Uh, looking at the hard drive, you're looking at a 1 terabyte uh, Toshiba 3.5 inch drive. Nothing too fancy there. Uh, no RAID or anything, just standalone. Um, but the box itself uh, seems like it was pre-installed with an, an appliance software. I've actually never installed Perf Sonar from scratch, so I don't know if it's just a package that gets installed on the operating system, or if it is the operating system. Uh, it seems like this is just normal CentOS 7. But, again, I'll update once, a, once I have this actually deployed in a real network, and I'll show how this software works a little bit more. Uh, but that was just a quick overview of the actual hardware itself. Um, again, just a super micro box uh, running CentOS 7. And I'll see you in the next video.